Alright, this is I'm showing you how I made the trough for my um evaporated cooler wall. Alright, this is 40 I think it's either 45 or 44 inches long. Um, I'll put the measurement on the screen. I can't remember exactly what it is. But what I did, I cut a, a one inch strip out of the pipe, a four inch pipe. And then I put the, the caps on. What I did, I stuck a piece of one and a quarter inch piece of pipe, or you can do a piece of wood or whatever, and spread it apart. Part, and then I forced the cap on it with some glue on it and glued it and then put some screws in it to um to hold it and then I pulled the pipe out. So that's how I got the um the the cap on it with it with it screwed in and screwed in there with it cut. So I just stuck the pipe in I mean the um the yeah the one and quarter inch pipe in the one inch groove that I cut out. All the way across um I, as you can see I've already um, heated this up and made that groove right there as you can see how I heated that up and all I all I'm doing is taking where'd it go I had a big old book I've got this big biology book that my son is no longer using that we paid a hundred and fifty bucks for for college so now it sits on the table I me mean, on a book on a shelf that I think we think it was fifty two dollars yep there's a price on it fifty two dollars so this I'm gonna show you how I do it did it all right so what I'm doing is heating this up where it is pliable. Yeah, you could buy the a um I can't think what you call it, but I'm using PVC, four-inch PVC, cause I had it. So use what you have. Get it pliable. All right, got it pliable. All right, I'm just taking this thing down here, and I'm taking it. First, I'm gonna start it right there. I'm gonna take it and let it press the weight of it and then I'm going to just cool it off with a rag all I'm doing get it cooled off where it'll set up alright now it has set in so now Once that set in, I can start heating the rest of it. I'm going to pull the, the book out of the way, and I'll start doing this. This should be last bit of it right there. That's what you want. I bet. 
biology book has not been used for that before. Alright, there you go. There's the trough. You see? Alright. That's how that's how I that's how I'm doing my trough. Okay. Alright. Alright. Now you what you are looking at is the the I guess what you would call the bar um where that the on the evaporated cooling wall this is the actual wall um it is 40 inches long 30 inches tall yeah it doesn't seem like much but it's actually a small greenhouse so I'm hoping that it will do the job so but I'm showing you how I built mine now this is we know what this is this is the, the stuff that you can the reusable um, things you put in your your um, your AC um, outlet things um, instead of using the throwaway ones you can put these in there to um, to to reuse wash them out and reuse them but I wouldn't wouldn't do it because it puts too much strain on your AC if you ask any AC electrician I mean AC technician they will tell you to use the ones and just throw them away and buy a new one because all they do is mess your AC up so anyway we're not here for that kind of video I'm sure all right what I am doing is just two layers of it two layers of this stuff I am pulling these layers together so that they are Sure that they are together. I'm not going to be able to do it with that. So, we have to use some wire to do it. But, um, let me explain to you what I, what I have. Okay, I've got a pipe on the bottom, it's three quarter. There's holes drilled in the bottom pipe, some big holes, um, a half inch drill bit I do believe, drilled on the bottom. So I make sure that it will drain. You got two elbows, 40 inch, put the elbows on it. Um, you got 30 inch coming up on the sides, and you got a T. Now, if you remember the um, pieces of four inch pipe that you had, you cut that one inch rip off the um, pipe so that you could build your reservoir in your top. Okay, well, let me get you up a little bit. You see that little plastic piece up there? That is that what was left out of it so I screwed it on each end and I drilled some holes and that's what we attached it the reason why I ain't got something run across the top and just have a, a, um, a three-quarter inch tease up there is that once I slip this in there I am running a half inch piece of pipe 
all the way through the top of it out the other side so I can put a, a, a cap on the end of it, screw a cap on the end of it it's a half inch pipe and um, you'll be have the um, little holes in the top of it where the water can drain down and um, but I, I want to be able to to um, drain the water line if I have to and clean it so that's that's the reason why it's set up like that and I want to be able to pull that I can pull that out too and pull this whole unit out so that's how I built this Pulling these together. Um, once I get that done, I will we'll get back with. You. All right, I got the the wall inside the the case of it. Um, now I've got the bar. This is the water bar. Um, Seven sixty-two. So, that's what I used. Alright. So, as a video, this is the video I showed you, the trough that we was making. Um, this is the bottom one. There's the caps and stuff on the ends and stuff, and this sets down in it. So, but um, anyway, let me get you back up where you see exactly what I'm doing. All right. So, what I'm going to do is insert the bar now. Alright, so it is set up, and so, let's test it out. Let me hook it up to the pump, and we will test this thing out, and see what happens. did here is I had to I had to take the heat gun and widen this and I had to widen the back the reservoir I mean not the reservoir but the trough on the bottom I took the heat gun and heated it up and and expanded it on the the bottom so just wanted to let you know that I had to make it a little bit wider so when you go to to do to do your um you heating it up, make sure you get it wide as possible. Okay. Now what it is, you've got your 40 by 30 frame for your thing. The um actual pipe this kit I'm gonna give you some dimensions okay that the actual pipe itself is 45 and a half so you're cutting a pipe it's 45 and a half to 45 and a half inch pipes you're going to cut a one inch rip out of them straight down the center of it okay you're going to cap one of them like I did just take the 
like I did one of them, as you can see. Okay. And once you get that, got you get that done. I've got a piece of I use plywood because that's what I had left. I'm gonna paint all this. Um, you see. Twelve and a half by thirty-four. Twelve and a half by thirty-four. Um, these are the one by twos. The fan will set a box fan, which is twenty and a half by twenty and a half. These box fan. My box fans that are sitting in the in it will actually sit. You will be able to set them inside here and slide them into place, and they will sit tight in each each one of these. Okay, and which they'll be blowing out. Okay, um, so. You have that cut. You, I've got two pieces of one by fours here to um, kind of eliminate air being pulled, being pulled out through there as much as possible, so that you'll be being pulled through here. So, but um, you're going to cut a piece right there, the length of, of that, which is. Um, the same length as your plywood, and the, these two are the same length as your um, pieces, which is 45 and a half. And this is the width of your um, of your um, the box fan, which is 20 and a half. So simple, not much to it. That's the frame that I built for it. So we're gonna set this thing up, and um, I'm gonna do a a trial. I mean, I'm gonna do an example how that it works. There's the bar. Water down. 